hey everybody welcome inside the mind of Matt and uh, some of you have been playing along with a little game I've been playing on Facebook uh, guess what I'm printing um, one person guessed it right off um, but that's what this video is going to be about so stay tuned So, have you figured out what it is yet? No? Well, let me give you some advice. It's not a hairy lion, but it is something hairy. But let me talk about this file while I got it here real quick. Um, when I tried to print it, it was giving me all kinds of errors. So what I had to do was bring it into uh, 3d builder which is a built-in program right into windows 10 and uh, it allows you to repair files um, not exactly what it does to repair it but it, it, it does but this particular file i tell you i had it in there for well, a couple of times I had to like X out of it and I rebooted my computer twice. And then this last time I just like set it to repair and then I went to bed. And like eight hours later I came back and it was finished. So when I tried to um, put it into my slicer, it finally went in there properly. Um, but there was still some strange geometry right on the bottom. There was like a strip like, like that much that I uh, wanted to print first and of course it was going to print the bottom of the actual um, bust above the, the build plate so it would have been shooting it right in the air so I actually had to uh, set my Z offset to 0.5 millimeters and lower that first little bit of the layer um, down below the build plate so it wouldn't print it obviously but uh, this thing still got quite a bit of uh, left to print, you know, probably 10 hours plus. So I just figured I interrupt it a little bit and talk about it while it's printing. But if you uh, want to make your guesses before it's done printing, then do so in the comments while it's printing and see. Maybe there'll be a prize for somebody. No guarantees, but who knows? We hit that 100 subscriber mark and I'm going to have to celebrate in some way. So don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, comment, set your notifications, that little bell. And if you hit it and then it asks you a question and you set it. And then anytime I get a video um, uploaded, it'll automatically send you an alert. So anywho, we're going to go back to the, uh, to the time lapse here and continue watching this thing I like the new angle by the way so it definitely makes it a lot less uh, chaotic to watch would probably be the best word that I can use to describe it so but anywho here we go So I guess I, uh, this is not my happy face, so that you know. Wish I could report some awesome news, but, oh, I don't even know what happened. But, I didn't run out of filament, but, it just, uh, it's not printing. So I'm assuming that I probably got a jam and uh, this is what I've gotten and this is Chewbacca. I don't see his face down in there. But this has been sitting all day. I just want to see. Oh, very disappointing, very disappointing. I'm hoping that maybe I can hide a lot of it with the, with this hairdo, but I guess I'm going to get set up and 
open this guy out and see what's what. But it took uh, just shy of 24 hours to print this. And that's what I got. But that's why I've ordered new parts. I have a new hot end on its way and hopefully this whole thing will be eliminated. So well, once again some failure. Well, anywho, let's uh open this puppy up and see what he looks so, like. After I'm kicking myself around for a little bit after I got home to this. I decided I was going to try a little bit different of approach. So I've taken a measurement with my caliber. I've got a measurement and I'm going to uh, do something in the slicer. So I'm going to take you to the computer, show you what I'm going to do, and we're going to have to make this a part two. So stay tuned. All right, so here we are back at the computer, but I did do a little bit more investigating before I started what I'm about to show you and I found this filament like broken right off above the extruder entrance in my little filter now, this is the second time on this roll of filament that I had like a shear off um, I'm not sure what's happening but it wasn't really anything but a filament fault but anywho so the, what I'm gonna do is I took a measurement that measurement was a hundred and fifteen point seven so if the model was already as you see here um, 0.5 millimeters down and I'm going to add 115.7 for 116.2. And that's going to drop that model right down um, approximately there. So I'm going to slice it from there and we're going to print it and we're going to glue it. So I'm going to have to make a part two wasn't my intention but oh well gives us something to do right anywho this has been uh, another episode of inside the mind of matt don't forget if you haven't subscribed please do hit the like button if you like this um, make a comment down in the comment section for any th future projects that you'd like to see me do um, share on your social media um, I guess we didn't quite hit uh, my 100 mark uh, by the time this was done printing, but it's not done printing, so I guess we still have time to hit that 100 mark. So once again, I'm trying to get that so that we can be YouTube.com slash Inside the Mind of Matt instead of UR2ZVXYZPDQ and all that. So help me out people. We got I think there's like three more subscribers, but then we can still go up from there. So all right. Stay tuned for part two where I print the top part of Chewbacca's head and we glue it together and then we give it a hairdo. So thanks everybody. Happy printing.